Again, with new information in a story out of York County. Today, investigators gave more details about the human remains found yesterday. This is a story we first brought you as breaking news Friday night. The skeleton was found on Gooseley Road between Lay and Crawford Roads. Ten on your side's Kara Dixon was in York County for a news conference this afternoon. Kara, what did you learn? Brandy, officials are investigating this as a suspicious death, but they made it very clear that they don't think the victim is connected to any known missing persons cases. They say the body appears to be that of a young man that was at the location for years. Now they're working to find out who he was. Portions were visible, portions were covered by debris. A body found here in York County has investigators digging deeper to find out what happened. Yesterday afternoon at approximately 6.30 p.m., we received a call in reference to the possibility of human remains being located in the woods off of Goosley Road in York County. Captain Troy Lyons with the York Bacosan Sheriff's Office met with reporters today after deputies were called to this scene. It is believed that this individual may have been at this location for several years. Last night, Lyons told him on your side the discovered body isn't connected to missing Hampton mother and daughter Kier and Chloe Johnson or the Colonial Parkway disappearance years ago. Investigators recovered clothing items along with an identification card belonging to a white male. Lyons also says the man was between 18 and 25 years old. The office of the chief medical examiner is working to confirm the ID and notify relatives. But Lyons says it doesn't match any missing persons cases they know of and... Sheriff's office investigators are currently treating this death as a suspicious death. The body was found in a wooded area, but Lyons didn't have the details about who discovered the bones and made the call. Investigators are now just waiting for evidence to find out who it could be and how it ended up here. It could be some time. Goosley Road has reopened to the public. Now, Lyons says although they did find an ID identifying the body could take some time, we will continue following the story and bring you any developments. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.